Welcome. And if you're watching this video, that means you want to know what clear cutting is. Now, if you're like other people, you probably don't know what it is and you would like to know. But in all due time, we will tell you. As you can see in the background, there are many trees popping up. Now, what clear cutting is, is when all the trees in an area are cut off all at once. As you can see, they slowly disappear. Now, what are the benefits of clear cutting? Well, to start off, clear cutting is the cheapest and most effective method of logging. The reason being that it requires little planning and few machines to cut all the trees down in an area. This is pretty self-explanatory because if you cut down all the trees, you really don't need that much equipment to cut them down. The second benefit of clear cutting is because you cut down every single tree at the exact same time, the regeneration process of each tree are all at around the same time. So in theory, you could keep a timer of when the next time would come where you would have to cut the trees. The final benefit of clear cutting is that in the long run, it can preserve biodiversity of the forest. Think of clear cutting as a type of secondary succession. Because the topsoil is still intact, the forest will slowly grow back over the next coming years. In turn, new wildlife will start to grow. Now, I would like to talk about the disadvantages of clear cutting. First and foremost, the biggest one is deforestation. At the rate we are going, there is a chance that we could possibly lose all the rainforests in Canada in the next few hundred years. This is due to the fact that when we clear cut, the seeds are not able to fully mature and develop new seeds that can be planted after we clear cut again. This in turn leads to no seeds being planted and rainforests dying off before they are able to fully mature. The next disadvantage is soil erosion. This occurs when water removes the topsoil off of the ground. Because we clear cut, the trees that are there to absorb the water are not there anymore which in turn ha makes the water all go into the soil. This removes the topsoil. Because there's no topsoil, plants cannot regrow, and in turn, this makes it so that animals have less habitat. The next disadvantage has to do with animals, fishes in particular. Trees give a shady shield to rivers and keep them cool. When the trees are taken away, the temperature in the river rises. In this in turn causes fishes t that live in certain temperatures to either migrate or die off because of the temperature differential. Now you may be asking us, is it good to clear cut or should we not do it anymore? Well, if we relate back to the reasons we've talked about, then clear cutting is a big no-no. This is because we sacrifice too much for our personal gains. This has a huge impact on the environment around us. The first reason is because clear cutting takes away habitat. Squirrels rely on trees as their habitat and safety. If we take trees away, then squirrels have a harder time fighting off against predators. The second reason is that if we clear cut too often, the state of the world won't progress. Trees will die too quickly without being able to reproduce and in turn will lose valuable resources. The third reason is because it just looks bad. Have, what, do you ever want to visit a place that doesn't have trees and looks like a dead wasteland? No, I don't think you do. And that's why we shouldn't clear cut. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again next time.